100 days, we're saying goodbye to a Norfolk staple. Military Circle Mall closing down at the end of the year, and there's a big Christmas event planned for the send-off happening this week. And here to tell us more about is Willie Brown from WTJZ Praise Radio and Cammie Grayson, who is the general manager of the mall. Thank you all so much for being here. And we're calling this an extravaganza, so talk to me about this event. Well, this is our farewell, and we wanted to make sure that we sent our tenants out with a bang since they've been here for so many years. And so uh, just decided, hey, let's make this happen. You know, this is a farewell. We have very little money, but let's just do the best we can. And so I reached out to this guy in number one space, another tenant in the mall, and he was like, we can make it happen. Yeah. So Willie Brown was like, we can make it happen. And I'm like, well, let's do it, let's do it. Number one space said, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So here we are. Yeah, and, and you know, our radio station, WTJ Praise, and Chesapeake Portsmouth Broadcasting, um, we're always out in the community trying to do something. I'm the new director of uh, community engagement, and she's like my little sister, so anytime she calls me, I'm just ready to do it. And we've got vendors, we've got entertainers, um, we even have a play, and because the mall is closing, a lot of depression happens with, you know, that kind of thing. So we've got the cast of My Life Matters, who's going to do a little part of their skit which talks about depression, suicide, bullying. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be great. I've got some choirs, New Living Testimony singers. We've got vendors and the vendor space, you know, when, when they pay for the vendor space, that money goes to help to get gift cards for the children whose parents have been killed to gun violence, uh, 757, uh, stop the violence. So, you know, if you're out there, you want to help us get gift cards and things like that. So I'm excited. I'm excited. My <laughs> wife Maria is taking care of all the other stuff and every child that's there will get a toy. Yeah, I was gonna say, tell me more about this toy giveaway. Well, I, I've been working with Toys for Tots, Marine Toys for Tots, and uh, we, uh, the station, we've probably given over 20,000 toys in the last last mm. week or so, we just, did, we just did an event at Booker T. So um, the Marines, they, they do this every year, you know, and I, we partnered with them and they gave me so many toys and I've been giving out toys to this organization, that organization, and uh, I got a little low, but next thing you know, they brought me wow. some more back. So um, we're gonna endeavor to give every child one toy when wow. they're there. Um, Thursday. And we want to thank the Salvation Army and Toys for Tots because mm -hmm. they are at Military Circle Mall. Mm -hmm. And that's our, their headquarters for this year. And Santa Pat has been the Santa forever at Military Circle Mall. He will be there giving free pictures with Santa, farewell Aww. pictures with Santa. He's given out some of the toys. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a wonderful event. Hey, you know, we were talking, this is kind of the heart of Norfolk, and it shows the community coming out for this to say goodbye to such a staple. Can I ask? what you all love most about the mall, what your favorite memory may be? Well, my favorite memory is um, I incubated ma the majority of the tenants there. So I moved here in 2019 and to see small businesses grow and flourish. And then we have a lot of tenants that have their own, doing their own thing now. So that is number one. And then also the tenants that's been there forever. You know, they've been there and they hung in there. And so this is for them. This is for those tenants that you know, their heart is in there. They've been there for 15, 20 years. Mm. So that's the good thing, to be able to be able to do something like this and have people like Number One Space and, and uh, Mr. Brown come in and just make it happen. Yeah, it's just great, just, you know, and as a radio personality, just walking around talking to people, oh my God, the stories. People say, yeah, I remember Tall Harmons was here. And I remember, <laughs> you know, cause I think the, cause the most started in, what, 1970? You know, so so the that's 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 pretty wow. I'm older than that, but anyway, <laughs> um, it's been it's been great, and just to hear them now, right? You know, and and the fact that you know I've been providing food, we're going to be feeding the uh, feeding the staff um, there, and I work with Operation Blessing. They helped, they gave me food, so I was able to give to them. Wow, and this is going to be great. It's going to be great. And so, for anyone that does want to come out and kind of celebrate and be a part of this extravaganza, remind us again when this is happening in the Times. Okay, it will be this coming the 22nd, the Thursday, and oh, St. Zachariah, <laughs> this Thursday uh, from 4 <coughs> to 8 p.m. And everyone's welcome. It's free. Uh, come take do farewell pictures of the mall. You know, just come say your goodbyes and and shop. <laughs> yeah, we we will have vendors there. And like I said, if you want a vend, you can reach me at um, Willie at CP broadcasting.com if you want to be a vendor. Um, like I said, the, the money's going to help buy gift cards for those kids. Uh, Operation um, 757, Oper uh, Stop the Violence. So um, just come out it's from 4 to 8. Like I said, we're going to have singers, dancers. We've got kids groups going to be dancing. Fashion um, shows. A young man, that's the, he's autistic. He's going to be singing. Wow. Um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. So this is going to be nice. Yeah. So
such a fun event. Cammie, Willie Brown, thank you so much for joining us well, this thank afternoon. You for thank you. We'll be right back with more news and weather.